on everybody this is Bob with fun with Photoshop and today we're gonna start a new video series basically giving tips and tricks as to how to use Photoshop while being colorblind now um, I actually am colorblind myself I'm red colorblind um, I'm not sure what that's the technical term for that branch or type of colorblindness is called but it doesn't really matter so a little background on me, I've been a professional photographer for a little over four years now. I do a lot of weddings, uh, family functions, portraits, studio work, all kinds of stuff. So Photoshop has been in my life for many, many years and I had been using and playing with Photoshop well before I got into photography. For those of uh, my friends and family that know me, they know that I've been colorblind my entire life and when I explain to them that it takes me a little bit extra time to edit photos to correct images all that good stuff then they realize like wow it's got to be pretty hard being colorblind and having to do all those sort of things and my response is yes absolutely so Photoshop has been my own personal hell but it's also earned me a lot of extra income and I've learned and grown a lot over the years using Photoshop but I still have all kinds of issues so what is it like being colorblind trying to use Photoshop well just like uh, Photoshop or any other software Lightroom um, well it's it's help especially shooting digital so shooting raw helps a lot but where let's say a white balance correction may take someone five seconds to do I can agonize over it for you know 30 40 minutes or whatever and I could basically set it up think that I did a great job run it by someone and then they tell me that the person's skin makes them uh, the color the skin tones they almost look like they're dead that's what we're gonna be basically talking and covering in this video series about being colorblind and using Photoshop so for years and years and years I've been searching for tutorials or training or anything on this subject and there really isn't much out there there's a couple videos here and there that give you some tips and tricks on like how to identify colors or this or that but um, they don't really tackle the fundamental you know issues at hand so that could be you know anywhere from learning how to set white balance to detecting color casts so for those of you that aren't colorblind you can just look at something really quick and easily and see that oh there's a color cast on that image let me just cancel that out and you know relatively simple terms you could say like oh for instance it's a green color cast so I could you know do this step to cancel out that green color cast well for a colorblind person such as myself first off it's hard to even tell that there's a color cast let alone which color is creating the color cast so what we're going to explore on this video series is a lot of tips, tricks, and things that I've come across over the years that have made me more proficient in Photoshop. And I mean, I'm still like any like anything. I'm still learning, but uh, the the main problem is just practicing, 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 and run your work by someone that's not colorblind. Ask them for specific feedback. Don't just say, hey, does this look good? Because, you know, as your friend or your family, they're going to tell you, yeah, oh, yeah, it looks great. No, you got to say, hey, does this person's skin look cold? Does it look warm? Um, any weird colors that you think of that come to mind when you, you know, first glance at this? All kinds of uh, very specific questions that you want to address. And as you start editing more and more, you kind of figure out, okay, well, you know if I can get someone to help me edit maybe not even edit but correct color correct one image and the lighting never changed then you know I know how to correct the rest of the images in that batch for instance so that's basically how I handle weddings and stuff so I'll go ahead and cut this video short be sure to subscribe to this channel and what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna create a playlist of all my colorblind related Photoshop videos and I'm hoping this helps someone out that uh, maybe even might be even new to Photoshop or uh, perhaps someone that's trying to basically understand what 
you know, what it's like to be using Photoshop while colorblind.